everyone, this is Donna from Hollywood, California. It's not just paint, it's all by Donna. And what you're seeing in front of you is um, a sneak peek of what's inside. I hope you enjoy the show tonight. I hope you've already been to Tiffany Remind and Nate Bright Art. together with Lance Travis Acrylic Creations by Jay Whitty and my dear friends Cynthia Porter Studio who is directly before me if you've missed any of them you can find the links down below board and I did get this at Michael's and we're going to do a uh, flower dip a reverse dip so here is um, so I'm doing it a little different today because you know I have to always be different and so I am doing a how I'm going to do this is I'm going to put pouring medium and in our Christmas in July collaboration, we have Cast Creations, the uh, maker of Boom Gel. And I have been using Boom Gel for many years. And they have a clear flow medium. And to keep my gold in the background of this flower, I'm gonna be using the clear flow medium uh, to move my paints rather than using a white because I, I do want the gold background and I would like that wood grain to show through also. So I'm going to be using this uh, clear, clear flow medium as my painted background. Watching this back, maybe I could have spread that out a little better, come to think of it. Fiona's pearl white. 
So as we go along, um, one thing I do want to say in defense of myself, I wasn't feeling too well this week. And this was going to be one of my pieces. This was going to be my piece for the collaboration for uh, Christmas in July. And after I was done, as you'll see at the end, I was not happy with it. Um, I think I overworked it. And then I think instead of, um, instead of really trying to fix it, uh, I just made it worse and worse. Similar to the test piece that I did. As you will see as we go along. taking my stir stick and I'm squishing it all around here. Now we can see some paint coming around the sides. And let's see the magic happen. one at a time so this is what happened here and this is absolutely stunning look at that Here I am adding some extra paint and then putting the canvas back on top, um, trying to get a better composition 
out of this. does look a little better to me. And at this point, I think I should have just left it and not touched it again. I think I should have just left it, but I didn't. Um, I started to play around with the straw. And that was my first mistake of many will continue to see them all one by one. Remember that that white that you're seeing all around there is gonna turn clear. Um, and that's something that I didn't keep in my head. Um, it's hard when you're not, you know, used to seeing that. But that's why I do wanna do this again because now I know how it's gonna, uh, I know how what the end result is gonna be when I do this. And it is quite, quite beautiful uh, when you think about it. Now I changed over to the 14-inch uh, canvas. The moral of the story is when you don't feel well, don't paint. Do yourself a favor. Find something else to do.
All in all, I have to say, I'm laughing because these things are growing on me. I don't know. I look at them and I think they're the ugliest thing on earth. And then I go, maybe it's not that bad. And then I look at it again and I go, oh dear, who did that? But then I look at it again and I go, about it that draws me in. So please let me know what you think in the comments below because I'm really curious. Have I lost my mind? Is it really that bad? Do you think this is a complete failure? Or is it a partial failure? Or is it maybe just a little good? Just let me know. Tell me the truth. I'm in for I'm in for some truth. Truth serum today. This is Donna from Hollywood, California. Signing off. And please come and see me tomorrow morning, Saturday at 9 a.m. Christmas in July. Don't miss it. Bye bye now. Be safe. Twenty-five amazing artists. Don't miss it. Three days. Three epic days. Don't miss it. You'll be sorry if you do. See you tomorrow. Bye.